in the name of Jesus drought in your life that even when it is physical rainy season it is still dry season spiritually financially and otherwise I decree and declare let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall you welcome to another spirit filled message on christocentric message if you're new to this channel i would entreat you to hit on that subscribe button and then to like this video as well i would want you to share this message across because we believe that as this message is coming forth it's going to bless you your graces are going to be imparted onto you and then god is going to visit your home thank you for watching stay blessed John chapter 4 and verse 34. Jesus expressed it so beautifully. 434, John. He said, my meat. The word meat there means my nourishment. Almost as though my living, my remaining is based on this. The ability to do the will of him that sent me and to finish his work. Can I tell you? Sometimes... I live a very busy schedule. By Tuesday, we're in Cote d'Ivoire. To Wednesday, we return back straight. And I'm preaching at the Four Square Convention. Thursday and Friday morning. As soon as I'm done, headed from Abelkuta back to Lagos. And then to Port Harcourt to still preach. That same night, one session with House on the Rock. And sometimes you are stretched to the borders and you keep asking why all this i can tell you the joy that comes to your heart when you know that your life is being a blessing cannot be contained with anything no amount of money will replace it no amount of fulfillment if you have not tasted this your life is not valuable enough there must be fulfillment beyond material things that you get and it comes by pouring yourself as a drink offering Someday if Christ tarries, we'll all not be here. Hallelujah. And like I would always say, the hymn writer says, Thus will we pass from the earth and its toiling, only to be remembered. We used to sing this song in the seminary and some will even cry. And then we'll go back and do exactly what the song was warning against. <laughs> Hallelujah. Your relationship with Jesus is worth dying for. Let me tell you what is not worth dying for. Fame. Money. Positions. Titles. Competitive achievements. They are not worth dying for. You will hurt yourself and pierce yourself with many sorrows and not even live to see yourself step into it. There are some people today who will not sleep. Why? Because you saw a wrapper that someone wore. Please, after Koinonia, go and sleep. I release that grace upon you. Are we together? There are people today who will not sleep because they checked their social media, uh, whatever, and saw two likes, two follows, two shares, and they said, no, this can I, I mean, it can't be. Mm -mm. Go and sleep, please. This person was my junior in school and is now dedicating his house. No, please go and sleep. It's only when you are awake that you can go forward. Dead men don't go forward. There is no progress to dead people. Are we together? Yeah. There are things that are not worth losing sleep about. Please, I give you a sound counsel. A lesson from an overcomer. Learn to be contented while you aspire for great things at every level contentment is not mediocrity is gratitude celebrate seasons don't hurry out of them you will miss the season you are rushing out of now rushing out of now hallelujah with all humility there are things i cannot do again by reason of this supposed public or celebrity life Sometimes I look back and I wish I had moments where I could smuggle myself, maybe to just walk around. Literally, can you imagine? Someone, if someone sees you on the street, even if you are just walking, 
the person will kneel down there and say, finally, I know, God, I will not let you go. They can literally hold your trouser in a junction. And you know Nigerians are people of faith. They don't care. If they tear the trouser and get their blessing to them, it's a good bargain. <laughs> Hallelujah. I'm generally not the kind of person who likes all this, um, oh, you are this, and I, I usually don't like it. But sometimes you get to a point where you can't hide again, you can't do anything. And most people get beguiled by those things. When you see great people, you usually admire, you inspire, and then for many people, that, that inspiration from them now becomes cancerous because you lose sleep. I can't believe this. Is it not this guy that I even got filled with the Holy Ghost? He's the one who now has a membership of 1,000 people. And I am here with three people, four people. Please, dear man of God, do not leave sleep. The one person you are training is equivalent to a nation. A competitive spirit is cancerous. Literally, medically cancerous. It will destroy you. Anything that will not give me sleep, may God not bring it around my life. Are we together? Yes. Be content with the car you have now while trusting God for a greater one. A greater one will come, but drive the one you have with pride and don't let nobody bully you. Be content with the house you have now. Don't worry. Be content with the one cloth, the one shirt you have now. Man of God, be content with the 50 faithful members that God has given you. Serve them with all your heart. Now let me say this before we find a place to pray. If I were that overcomer who was giving you the lessons, I will add one more. Learn from scars and learn from crowns. If you learn from victorious people alone, you did not learn well. There is something only pain can teach. There is something only failure can teach. Please, I want you to listen to me. I give you this as a bonus principle. And then we pray. We live in a world today that downplays those who have failed and focuses on those who have succeeded. The person who has failed knows something that the successful person may never know. Believe me. There is something that a woman who had three children immediately after nine months, there's something she can teach you. But there is something only the woman who knows the pain of barrenness can teach you. You must learn to learn from people who have failed and have remained, not just those who have succeeded. The person who has failed and refused to give up is as powerful a teacher as the person who has succeeded is someone learning now if I were that overcomer in this teaching and I had the privilege to teach you I will add number nine and that would be learn from scars as well as crowns I know you are a man of God and you have experienced miracles and explosion spreading your branches all over there is something you can teach us but i also want to hear from the man who has only pastored 10 members for 10 years and has not given up there is a kind of wisdom only that man can bring are we together yes i want to learn from the woman who gave birth immediately and the one who waited 20 years both of them have something to tell me I want to learn from the man who never had an opportunity to be educated but he was able to raise three or four children not just the CEO who became a billionaire at 19 both of them have something to tell me can I tell you do not fall prey to the mistake that many have made do not just respect successful people alone respect those who have failed and are still standing when a man fails and refuse to give up there is something he has and he can tell you is someone learning the one who is very wealthy can teach you financial principles 
But the one who has little can teach you joy and gratitude in the midst of little. You need to learn from both of them. The wealthy man may not be able to sleep if he loses one billion. But the person who has stayed having little and knows how to sleep can teach you how to find rest when things do not work. Most believers ignore people who have scars alone without a crown not knowing that the road to the throne is the cross when we get to heaven i have taught you among the many ways we know jesus is not just the crown on his head he's not the only one with a crown the 24 elders have crowns the saints will be given crowns but there is only one who has a kind of scar that no one can replicate that scar is what brands him as savior not everybody can show you their crown, but if they can show you their scar, respect them. The man does not have a car, but he has trekked with his children from primary school until they are now in university. Let him teach you how to be joyful without things. There is something he can teach you. I learn from everyone. The Bible says go to the ants and learn. They have something to teach you. When I meet a man who has failed and is crying, I tell him, what can you teach me? When I meet a man who has succeeded exceptionally, I tell him, what, what can you teach me? I do not learn only from victors. I learn from those who are testaments of endurance. They have failed. They can teach you how not to fail. You are the one that we praise. You are the one we adore. You give the healing and grace that our hearts always hunger for. Oh, our hearts always hunger It is not only elderly people that can teach children can also teach elderly people can never become children again but children have a chance to become elderly people respect them they have the advantage of time elderly people can have wisdom but there is no time to correct certain mistakes again but children have the advantage of time they can be Saul today and become Paul tomorrow respect them I've visited the prison many times and we have various projects to the prison and I am inspired sometimes beyond imagination as I see these inmates some of them have come to a point where they have admitted their wrongs do you know there was a time that we wanted to help out to bail a few people who had been there for a long time and the the controllers advised us that they have learned from experience that some of these people have no family they are better off there even if you bail them they will not go because it has become their family they are better off in that place so when you sit down with that person and you ask him what do you have to teach me he will tell you listen to instructions I was teaching I'm wrapping up now I was teaching at a youth session my final session in South Africa this year and I just decided to inspire some of the people the youths within the nation there as a final session and I just want to borrow an example as I wrap up and I told them I was going to simulate a discussion between an elderly you and a younger you if the 10 year old you meets with the 50 year old you and they discuss what will be their discussion will it be well done you are what i always wanted to be or something is wrong i wish i could go back i have told you that at the end of your life you will always be remembered only be remembered by the problems you created or the ones you solved there are many of you who right now are in that conversation. If the 10 year younger version of you looks at the you now, you will watch him bleed. And he says, this is not what I wanted to become. This was not our discussion. What happened? 
now that you are alive you can make the you now to celebrate with the you that is waiting in your 20 years from now that 10 20 years from now you can look back to this version of you and say well done I made the wrongs right I built the relationships I got my life back in order I'm praying for you that the 70 80 year old version of you will not turn back and watch the younger version crying and say I kept calling your attention when you were 30 I said you were missing it you did not listen you got to 40 I said you were missing it you did not listen now you are 80 and you are full of regrets there are many elderly people today who are going to their graves in pain they made certain mistakes and watch this this is the conclusion of my discourse tonight the man who is sitting today as an overcomer is not always smiling sometimes they cry even on the throne because they remember in regret opportunities missed some of these principles that they did not adhere to I was sent by that overcomer to you to tell you the mistake you are making has been made by someone and the end of it is not joy you have a chance to correct it now the lack of wisdom that you are doing now someone has done it for you already he finally became an overcomer but there are things the man called Abraham even though he was a patriarch of faith don't forget Ishmael came and Ishmael fought Isaac he still fights Isaac till today and so the lesson from the overcomer called Abraham is that impatience will always make you give birth to what fights your promise make sure you don't just say I am a seed of Abraham learn from the pain of the patriarch if you were to meet with David today David will tell you that I was a great man after my God's heart but there were mistakes I made with my life do not make that mistake how about Solomon the wise you will see him seated today and if you were to see Solomon he will tell you read the book of Ecclesiastes for the next one month and he will cry while he's saying it read the book of Ecclesiastes and give it to every successful person to read that of writing many books there is no end and much study is a weariness to the body but this is the conclusion of the matter fear God and keep his commandments he said for this is the whole duty of man if you were to meet the man Paul seated as an overcomer he will say I have a message for you no God early no God early it will save you a lot of problems no God early if you were to meet Esau and meet Jacob they would tell you do not sell your destiny for a pottage of stew it is not worth it do not sell your birthright because you are hungry endure your birthright is greater than your hunger today and then if you sit and watch the greatest overcomer of all times he's called the king of kings he seated himself upon that throne let me tell you what he will tell you come unto me all ye that are heavy laden and are weary and he will tell you I can give you rest rest from yesterday rest from pain rest from misery rest from curses I can give you rest he says my yoke is easy and my burden is light you shall find rest indeed for your soul take my yoke upon you if you meet the overcomer he will tell you no matter how your sins are I paid that price for you as proof of love you may not be able to do anything about yesterday but you can start afresh today and make meaning with your today for a great tomorrow we are surrounded by overcomers they are called a great cloud of witnesses I've been assigned by the Spirit to glean from their wisdom and to share with you tonight irrefutable destiny defining principles that have turned ordinary men to become champions hoping 
that soon enough in your lifetime, you will have a chance to sit upon this rare throne that not many sit on as an overcomer yourself. That your name will be turned from Joshua Selman to an overcomer. From Mary, from Grace to an overcomer. That people will look at you and indeed you will be called an overcomer. Please rise up on your feet. Please hold the hands of someone by your left and right. I am victorious. I have overcome. I am victorious. I have overcome. you are holding the hands of your neighbor left and right I want you to pray a very simple sincere prayer from the depth of your heart you're going to say Lord cause my neighbor to become an overcomer that they do not ignore this lesson that has come from the pain of overcomers go ahead that is your only prayer for tonight Pray for your neighbor. Staking the pain and the sorrow away. You've given me peace undeniable. There's no need to cry cause you're always with me. You're my father, my everything. Oh, man, my Sing it. Lord, you took my pain away and then you gave me joy. You're my peace, my melody in the center of the storm. You gave me a brand new song to sing to you. That's why I will lift up my voice and sing. Yeah, yeah. Father, cause my brother, my sister, cause my neighbor to learn this profound destiny-altering lessons from the overcomer. From Abraham, the overcomer. Paul, the overcomer. Jesus, the greatest of all overcomers. From our fathers who have become overcomers. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I pray for you in the name of Jesus. For many of you who have been wounded in life and destiny, you have felt like you have failed and failed and failed and failed and failed. I'm speaking by the Spirit of the living God that every negative voice that has spoken to you that you will never emerge, you will never become, may that voice be silenced now. For those of you who have made all kinds of mistakes around your life and destiny and you are wondering whether it's worth continuing the journey, I bring you glad tidings. There is hope for a tree. Even if it be caught up at the scent of water, receive grace to keep going. Receive grace to keep going. Receive grace to keep going. To keep going. I pray for you. For everyone who has ignored hitherto, any of these eight lessons that we have today learned from the overcomer, I pray for grace that you will retrace your steps. Grace to take the wisdom of the overcomer seriously. 
in the name of Jesus Christ finally I pray for you that every power that wants to fight your becoming an overcomer in experience becoming an inspiration to all around you and to younger generations I'm praying that that power is cleared out of the way I call you by faith and by grace an overcomer your life will become an inspiration to many people your life will become a motivation to many people in the name of Jesus Christ that from today people will look at your life and the energy to continue will be imparted upon them in the name of Jesus Christ let me make the altar call now you heard the message that I brought you from the chiefest overcomer himself please keep standing let's just honor the altar call we're done in a minute or two you have heard Abraham's perspective Paul's perspective Joshua Selman's perspective but Jesus himself calls on you and this the chiefest of all overcomers in fact the reason why there are all other overcomers he's calling you to make it right with him tonight it doesn't matter what has gone right or wrong in your life ladies and gentlemen when you come to Jesus he gives you an opportunity to make it right I want to call two groups of people in one right now two groups of persons number one those who are making this decision for the first time you're saying apostle I will do myself a disservice to ignore this call not after the things that I've heard today and then number two the second group are people who are saying I need to rededicate my life as you kept reading the list I found out that I was a victim of almost all of them I have almost all through my life ignored the counsel of this overcomer and I want to make it right I'm going to count one to five leave wherever you are and literally run come and stand before me as I lead you to make this decision and to encounter this overcomer please may I request that you stand so there'll be space I'm counting now one let's honor them as they come two come come don't be ashamed the overcomer calls you regardless your past regardless yesterday regardless your limitations he gives you a new opportunity no eye has seen no ear has heard what God has prepared for me so I submit to his work in me till Christ be formed in me no eye has seen no ear has heard what God has prepared for me so I submit to his work in me till the Christ is formed in me ladies and gentlemen brothers and sisters thank you thank you for making this noble decision you're joining them please hurry up it's my joy and honor to introduce to you the overcomer Jesus himself the captain of our salvation the one who sits at the right hand of the father he calls you into a functional relationship the Bible says as many as will come to him he will in no wise cast away may I request that you lift your right hand please high above your head as a sign of surrender and say this after me believe it whilst you say it say Lord Jesus I have heard your word I come to you just as I am I believe that you died for my sin I believe that you rose again for my justification right now I receive your life and I declare that eternal life is in my spirit now I declare that you are my Savior you are my Lord you are my King I also declare that the power of sin Satan hell and the grave is broken over my life I am a child of God from tonight and I live the victorious Christian life 
Amen. Father, thank you for these blessed ones. They have lifted their hands, declaring your lordship over their lives. I'm praying for them in the name of Jesus, that the grace to walk as a true believer, may that grace be released upon you. And by the authority of scripture, the power of sin, Satan, hell, and the grave is broken over your life. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Amen. Please, may I request that you move to my right. There are counselors waving the placard. They will have a word with you very quickly, and then you'll be back to your seat. Let's honor them as they go. Thank you so very much. Thank you so very much. Koinonia, are you still clapping? Hallelujah.